friends of mine, I will do f- jobs for friends of mine a little cheaper, and I'll drive a long way for a friend. Sure. And uh, if you're not a friend, uh, and it's not a place I want to go, it's going to be pretty expensive. And if they don't hire me, I don't care. But Well, what friend talked to you going to the Middle East? Money. 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 His green friend. Yeah. The, uh... You got to tell us that story, John. Okay, I'll make it short. Or however long you want. We got all night here. The phone rang. You want to come to Muscat Oman do a show for His Majesty? I said, yeah. Yeah, His Majesty? Yeah. I said, where was that at? Muscat Oman. I said, okay. Yeah, yeah. It'll, just, it'll be kind of expensive, though. And I'm thinking, that's Tim Duke over in Raleigh, North Carolina. Always talking like that and always acting like that. <laughs> and so I say, let me tell you something, Sonny. This is how I do business. Send me 50000 and we'll continue the conversation. Nobody said anything. I said, Nobody said anything. Yes. We have to ask more questions first, but we send money in advance. We have to ask more questions. I'm thinking, that ain't Tim. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember, <clears throat> I was thinking I was about overdrawed. And so I called the banker. And I said, hey, Eric, check my account. He said, are you overdrawn? I said, uh, this is close. So he said, hmm, you got, you got over $50,000 in the bank. I said, what? <laughs> he said, you, you got over $50,000 in the bank. And I said, I'm going to be up there and cash, cash that out right quick. He said, no, you ain't either. Where does this money come from? <laughs> I said, I don't know. He said, it says Royal Bank in Canada, something like that. I said, I said, well. If it's in there, I want it. He's no, no, don't come over and don't be writing no damn checks on this either. But they sent fifty thousand advance, and uh, so I knew they was wanting me. And uh, I told them a million dollars, and they said, "You're shockingly expensive." I said, "Well, shockingly is what got me in the business." I got shocked, and when my name <laughs> one arm bandit. So, yes, I am shocking. <laughs> so, anyway, they said, we're, we're, we're not going to use you. We go to Australia, and we'll, we'll replace you. And I said, you ain't going to replace me. You might find somebody to take my time spot up, but you're not going to replace me. Oh, yeah? We had lots of good acts over there. I said, there's only one one-armed bandit. And I said, quite frankly, you're a long ways from here. And quite frankly, it's dangerous over there. And it ain't my king, it's your king. If you want to put a smile on your king's face, you hire the one-armed shocking bandit. (laughs) So I didn't hear nothing from him for a month. And uh, they called back. And some of these guys I was talking to about taking with me, they said, we won't charge you nothing. Just chew down a little bit. We want to go. I said, no, everybody gets paid. I think you and down none. So they called back, and I said, well, they called back. I said, they want me now. So there wasn't no need to but down. So I made a few little altercations there and a few little divots in my uh, lineup and promised this and promised that, and we went. And uh, that's another reason I got these wrinkles and gray hair. You go to the Middle East for three weeks. How do you get there? I mean, how did you get your stuff over there? Yeah, the whole show. We took 18 head animals to Chicago and put them on an airplane. And we flew with them. We get to the airport. It's February the... When when is it? No, it's not February. It's... uh, We did the show on January the 1st. So it had to be in uh, December. December the 15th when it was. We get there, and it's like minus two, colder than hell. And I said, uh, hey, guys, uh, where's your pins at? <laughs> they said, pins? What kind of pins? I said, 
Uh, okay, corrals. Where, where's your corrals at? They said, we're an airport. You looking for corrals? <laughs> Not here. I said, okay, okay. How you get the wild-ass, mean-killing buffalo out of my trailer into your airplane? They said, most people lead their animals in there. I said, lead a mean buffalo? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not taught to lead. I said, I've never touched this son of a gun and don't want to. So that was a real problem. Real problem. Me and my, I couldn't get him in there and couldn't get him in the crate. And there was no side doors on the trailer, so I had to cut a hole in the tarp and drop down in with the buffalo and go, yeah, <laughs> and run him in this crate. Well, if they turn around and come back after me, where am I going? Am I going to crawl out of this thing with one arm? No. Am I going to get hooked and pawed and killed and stomped and nobody can help me? Yes. So my son says, well, Dad, I have a better chance of getting out of there than you do. Let me go. I said, no. Oh, no. I don't want to hear about getting you killed the rest of my life from your mother. I said, I'd rather get killed. So I dropped down in there, and that dead damn door that I had to pick up and shut probably weighed, probably weighed 150 pounds. I had so much vigor in my system and so much everything it took to pick that door up and slam it shut and held it until my son jumped down and helped pin it. But we had to do all of our animals that way. 18 head of animals. We finally loaded them at 3 o'clock at night and within we got air and just a little bit turned daylight. And then we landed in Amsterdam and I jumped out and touched the ground and I said, well I've been to Amsterdam and then we flew on into Muscat Oman and when we left up there, it was minus two. And when we landed in, in uh, Muscat, Oman, 85 degrees. How'd you get your truck and trailer over there? Put on a boat uh, two months early. And when we come flying into Muscat, Oman, there's a red pickup with a silver trailer that says the one arm mm. bandit. <laughs> That's <laughs> cool. How in the heck did that thing get here? <laughs> left two months ago. We're around, halfway around the world. But we left 18 animals there, 18 head of animals in truck and trader and brought home a suitcase full of money. So and you left your animals there? Yeah, everything's still over there. I was supposed to go back and do, uh, they was going to book me up in Abu Dhabi and uh, what's that real rich place over there? Dubai. Dubai. Yeah. And uh, then just in 2020, I was supposed to go back and do a show for the king and uh, take 10 of the best acts in the United States that I could find. And uh, go over and entertain him in uh, December 2020. Well, the the phone they they didn't talk very much. I'm thinking something's the matter. Well, then the king died, and that's what happened. So we didn't go. But I'd already talked to a lot of people about going. So I've still got some animals over, and I still got a truck and trailer over there. But <laughs> when you got a million dollars to ma mess with, you yeah, don't mess. You can overlook that kind of stuff, yeah. can't you? Scatter a few buffalo animals out were, all over the world. Were you the only act over there, John? No, there was several acts there. Uh, there was acts from 14 countries. They had their very best acts in the world that money could buy. And uh, money means nothing to them. They spent $25 million, best I could tell, about $25 million putting on a show for that king. Of course, it's called His Majesty, mm -hmm. but nobody knows what His Majesty is, so I used to call him the king. But um, it was a hell of a production. Uh, we rehearsed six times, and uh, at the end of six rehearsals, the Brigadier General got up in front of 400 people and said, looked right at me and said, one arm bandit, very best. He goes last. So out of 14 countries, after six rehearsals, the one arm band company from Scheidler, Oklahoma, was the very best in the world. And he went last. So that's a pretty big feather in the old Matt boy's hat. The little old buckle you win for act of the year in Vegas right. didn't mean nothing compared to that. Uh, you know, the world was there. And, um, you know, I can brag on that the rest of my life. Sure. And, uh, I've got a, and down in the restaurant, it has a, a schedule of events. The one-armed bandit from America was last. And they saved the very best for last.
Cowboys of the Osage 